All right, I'm doing something a little different today. I've rounded up eight different Craigslist ads. They're all PC ads, custom built or pre-built PCs that people are selling off. And I'm gonna go through each one and figure out whether or not it's a good offer or a bad offer based on the asking price and the value of the actual PC. The way I'm gonna determine the value of each rig is by going on eBay and looking up secondhand prices for each of the listed components. Every component in each build, I'm gonna look up the, the average secondhand prices of those parts and then determine whether or not the deal is good or if it's shit. From all the PC ads I've seen on Craigslist in the past, I'm not expecting to see anything great today, but in the off chance that I do find something that's a pretty good offer, I may do a follow-up video, a part two, where I actually, if, if it works out, I'm gonna reach out to that Craigslist seller and try to buy that PC, the one that has the best offer uh, out of the ones that we see today. And if that works out, I'm gonna try flipping the PC back on Craigslist to see if I can make a profit. So that's a potential part two video, but for today, we're just gonna take a look at these offers and see what we got. Uh, the first one is this amazing gaming PC. I love how they use adjectives to spice things up. Amazing gaming. Why don't I be the judge if it's amazing or not? With custom upgrades, $2,000 is the asking price. And these are all locally from uh, the, the greater Los Angeles area uh, where I live. So Sherman Oaks, that's that's uh, part of that. All right, so this is it. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to read all this text. I've already read through all these ads and stuff, but I'll just go straight to the point. Let's get into the specs. We've got the ROG Crosshair 6 Hero, an EVGA Supernova 1300 watt power supply, a Ryzen 7 2700X with a Wraith Prism cooler, 32 gigs HyperX Savage DDR4 memory at 2800 speed, that's four 8 gig sticks. We have an AMD Radeon RX 6900 XT, that is a reference card, I believe, yep, that's a reference. And then we also have some storage, 128 gig Samsung A50 Pro SSD, a boot drive with new license copy Windows 10. Oh, one thing I'm not factoring in is the operating system, because not every not every ad uh, lists whether or not it has an operating system, so it's kind of hard to tell anyway. And also, the operating system is, what, maybe 25 bucks for a second hand key of Windows 10. Um, so even if it's a bad deal, if it's a really bad deal, including a $25 key is not gonna suddenly make it a good deal. It's kind of a moot point, not to mention you can just run Windows unactivated for free anyway. So we have a couple 500 gig hard drive, actually three of them, two 500 gigs and one 500 gig drive. Uh, an Asus, so okay, see, wow, CD, DVD burner. Sweet. And an as a full tower case, four built-in fans, water cooling ready. All right, asking $2,000. Let's take a quick look at the PC. Here's some of the pictures. All right, oh, God, that's a hideous case. Azza, Azza. Azza. It's hideous. Absolutely hideous. That side panel. God, that side panel. Uh, you know, at least it looks like it's meshed the front. I'll give them that. And at least there's a fan here on the side panel, so it's it's functional and stuff. Looking inside here, you can tell it's definitely a dated case, or maybe just a super cheap case, because it's still got the, the exposed five and a quarter inch base, or I'm sorry, the drive trays, five and a quarter inch base up top, and no PSU shroud. Despite that, he did a fairly good job with cable management. He did say in the ad that he 3D printed uh, this motherboard cable cover here which actually looks pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of dig it. Um, but uh, we've got the GPU, the 6900 XT. That's a big boy. And four, all four dim slots are, are populated with the RAM, of course. Not a bad looking system on the inside. He's definitely letting you know that there is RGB in the system, can be changed uh, to whatever color you like. That Wraith Prism cooler, looking pretty good. So as I suspected, there is quite a bit of mesh at the front. That's good. Uh, boom, right there. We also have what looks to be a 200 millimeter fan at the top. That's kind of nice. Uh, on the back, we have holy, holy USB ports, Bat man. We have like, this is the most USB ports I've ever seen on a, on a motherboard. What is this? Crosshair? Crosshair 6 Hero. Damn those USB ports. Uh, okay, so that looks pretty good. Nice, nice documentation. Documents. Okay, so give me a second. I'm gonna go on eBay. I'm gonna look up all these parts. We're gonna get an average. So it, it's gonna be a rough average, you know. I'm not, it's not gonna be precise. Secondhand prices are all over the place. And this is also at the time of filming. PC prices are all over the place these days. You never know what it's gonna be from week to week. So just bear that in mind. All right, I've returned with the average secondhand prices for all the components in this system, and I've listed it all out right here. So starting with the case, I actually looked up the model name. It's a CSAZ, C-S-A-Z X-T, quite a mouthful. Uh, and that's $40, roughly $40 for that case on the used market. A Ryzen 7 2700X, which is an eight core 16 thread processor, going for roughly 180. I saw one listing that was for 165, a few more that were maybe for around 190, 200. So I went with 180 on average. Asus ROG Crosshair 6 Hero, $130, 32 gig, of HyperX Savage DDR4 2800, $50 and that RX 6900 XT reference going for around 1,500 buckaroos. That's three quarters of what the seller is asking for for the entire build. If this was the NVIDIA equivalent, like an RTX 3090, um, I mean, those things are selling for astronomical prices right now, $2,500, $3,000 last I checked. So $1,500 for uh, the performance of a 6900 XT 
not actually terrible in comparison to what Team Green's offering right now. AMD Wraith Prism, we have, so generally I would make this a zero, but because this is a secondhand market, uh, you're not necessarily gonna buy a CPU that comes included with that Wraith Prism cool. You're probably gonna have to buy it separately most of the time, and that's going for around $20 for that Prism. Uh, for the storage, we have three hard drives and a 128 gig SSD. All that's uh, factoring in on average about $150 for those four drives. And then we have an EVGA Supernova 1300 G2 for $220. I think there was only one or two used uh, units of this model that I could find, and they were going for, for roughly like well over 200 bucks. Honestly, I think it's just because it's such a high wattage PSU. Uh, these heavy duty gold rated or platinum rated power supplies generally have long warranties as well. So it seems that they retain their value a bit better than uh, cheaper PSUs. And then that gives us a total of $2,290 for if you were to piece out and purchase each of these parts individually on the used market. The seller is asking for $2,000. So when you do the math, that gives you about 13% in savings from purchasing this build at $2,000. I'm also giving each of these offers a letter grade. Uh, this is completely subjective. This is my own scale or whatever. Feel free to disagree with me uh, if, if you have your reasons for why why I suck and why, why my grade is, is wrong, then feel free to let me know in the comments. But I'm gonna give this guy a B. This offer gets a B. For $2,000, uh, I'm gonna say he gets a B. You know, it's not a fantastic deal, but it's really not the worst deal that I've seen on Craigslist by a long shot. In fact, I'm actually surprised this first offer is as good as it is. Before I get my hopes up though, let's move on to the second app. 3070 Ti gaming PC for 1900. This is only a $100 cheaper than the system we just looked at. So let's see what we get for roughly the same price, if not a little less. Core i7, 8700K, six cores, 12 threads, an RTX 3070 Ti Aorus Master, 32 gigs of G-Skill memory. Now for the other specs, why why, why has it gotta be so theatrical? Uh, I, don't, I don't get it. Anyway, motherboard is an MSI Z370 Z3, Gaming Pro Carbon. Power supply is a 100 watt gold. I believe he meant to say 1000 watt gold because the system based on the specs would not run off of 100 watt PSU. Uh, PSU cooler, PSU cooler. I think he meant CPU cooler. NZXT Kraken X52. Currently no hard rice is installed as they move to my new PC. All right, uh, that must be a typo. I believe he meant to say hard drives. So there's no hard drive. There's no storage in this PC from what I'm gathering here. Again, we're, we can only go based on the information that they give us. Uh, so we're gonna do our best here to, to figure out what exactly is going on with each of these rigs, but it looks like there's no actual uh, drive uh, SSD or hard drive in this build as is. So I am more than happy to answer any other questions. Yeah, I don't got time for that. So let's take a look at this PC really quick. Okay, I wish there was like a wide shot of this system because I don't even know what case this is. I'm sure one of you guys can identify it, but you know, I, I can't really wait for, for your answer. So I'm just gonna have to guess that this is a fairly cheap case based on the way that the interior looks. It looks a little flimsy. Doesn't look like it's got many bells and whistles and stuff. You can kind of just tell with uh, with like the cutouts and stuff on the, uh, the motherboard tray. Um, but uh, the parts look pretty decent. He's got a decent motherboard, decent GPU. Um, he's a slightly older CPU, 8700K, six cores, 12 threads, but you know, it can still game and stuff, maybe do some light streaming. It is cooled by a 240 millimeter AIO, which is nice. And he's got some mismatched RAM. Looks like it's all Rip, Rip Jaws 5 from G-Skill, but he's got some, some red sticks and some black sticks. He didn't specify if they're running at the same speeds and cast latency. Okay, that's all we get, that's all we get. Okay, so I'm gonna have to make some stuff up. I'm gonna have to guesstimate even further when it comes to our memory, as well as the case and the power supply, which again, I'm gonna assume is a thousand watts and not a hundred, so be right back. All right, for our case, I just looked up some generic cheap cases on eBay and most of them were going anywhere between 40 and 60 bucks. You could find some for way cheaper than that, uh, but they were in like pretty poor condition. So I'm just gonna go with $50 on average for the case. 8,700Ks are going for roughly $200 right now on the secondhand market. Z370 Gaming Pro Carbon. I found most of those boards to be in the sub $100 range. So I'm gonna go with $90 there. 32 gigs of Rip Jaws 5 from G-Skill is going for around $70. And again, he did not provide the speed. So I don't know if we're talking about a 2800 kit or a 3600 kit. So again, just took the average there. Gigabyte RTX 3070 Ti Aorus Master. Those are going for roughly 1350 buckaroos. And as to be expected, this is making up a vast majority of the cost of the build or the price that he's asking for anyway. Uh, NZXT Kraken X52, $80. Storage, none. So that's a big fat zero. Feeling a zero on this record. A big fat goose egg. You're gonna have to add your own drive or drives to this build should you be purchasing it and install Windows on it and all that stuff. And then a thousand watt gold power supply on average is going for around $90 used right now. 
So that gives us a total of $1,930, which is $30 more than his asking price, which saves us a total of 1.5% on the cost of this build. I would say this is a fair deal, not a good deal, not a bad deal, but just an okay deal. And for that, I give it a C. Moving on to our third ad of the day, RTX 3070 gaming PC, full setup, $2,000. Wow, interesting. So I just realized, so $2,000 for that one, $1,900. These are all around $2,000. Uh, it seems to be a, a pretty good sweet spot for a lot of these secondhand PCs. So we've got a full setup here. Ooh, full setup. All right, so we, oh, he, I like it when they provide a PC part picker list. Thank you, person. Parts go as following. Some highlighted parts are 3070, Aorus 3700X. All right, why don't we just take a look at the PC part picker list? Why don't we? Ryzen 7 3700X. H100i RGB Platinum 75, B550M Aorus Pro, that's a micro ATX board, Team T-Force Nighthawk RGB 16 gigs of RAM, that's two eight gig sticks, a DDR4 3600, an SN750 uh, 500 gig SSD from Western Digital, that's an NVMe SSD, a uh, Samsung 870 Evo, one terabyte, two and a half inch drive, that's SATA Rev3, Gigabyte GeForce RTX 3070, eight gig Aorus Master video card, Thermaltake S100 micro ATX mini tower case, and a Corsair RM 650 watt, 80 plus gold, power supply. What else does he say here? Retail price is much more than asking price, so please do not lowball. Oh, we'll see about that. Not in a rush to sell. Never been overclocked. That's what they all say. No, I will not email you. God, this guy's feisty. Meetup only in Torrance. Comes with Logitech gaming keyboard, Corsair mouse, 27 inch monitor, 75 Hertz. All working. Interesting. We've got an Acer 75 Hertz Acer. I, I believe this is the one he's selling. Probably full HD 1080p. We have a Logitech keyboard. I'll look up the model of that. And then a Corsair mouse. Does it come included with the mouse pad? He didn't say if it comes with the mouse pad. What if I want the mouse pad? All right, let's look up the prices really quick to see if this is actually a good deal or a big fat scam. Okay, the Thermaltake S100 micro ATX case going for around 70 bucks used. Ryzen 7 3700X, which is eight cores, 16 threads, around $190 used. Gigabyte B550M or Pro Micro ATX $100 for the RGB RAM from T-Force. Uh, that's 16 gigs. That's going for around $85. And then we have $1,200 for the RTX 3070 Aorus Master. So yeah, uh, that's roughly a little over half, a little over half of what he's asking for the entire cost of the build. Makes sense. Corsair H100i RGB Platinum 75, that's 80 bucks. And then for the drives that he's got in here, the uh, SSD, actually two SSDs, uh, we have about $140 worth of drives in there. Corsair RM650, $50. And that gives us a total of $1,915. That is less than the $2,000 asking price, which means if you were to purchase this from him for 2,000 bucks and you didn't negotiate, didn't haggle him down or anything, that would be about 4% more expensive on average than if you were to purchase all these parts used yourself. This is quite the contrary to what he said in the Craigslist ad, which is if you added up all the parts, the total value would be a lot more than what he's asking for. That may be true if you're purchasing all of the parts new, but you're not, you're purchasing them from him used after he's used it for however long, however many hours, uh, but he swears he didn't overclock it. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm giving this an F, it's a big fat F, but wait, there's more. What about the peripherals? We have to factor that in too, because that is included in the $2,000 asking price. So uh, with that in mind, we have about $100 for that Acer monitor, that 70 Hertz, uh, 75 Hertz Acer monitor. Um, and then we have 50 bucks for the keyboard and $20 for the mouse, which gives us 170 bucks for the peripherals alone. So if we total that up with the cost of the PC, we now come out to 22 $255. That gives us uh, an 11% in savings. So it takes us from 4% more expensive to saving 11%, which is a decent chunk of change. And that's going to bring his grade up from an F to a C plus. So bravo. Uh, you know, 10, 11% isn't anything to write home about. If it was like 15, 20%, then, then you're starting to look at like B or even A uh, grade territory IMO. But 11%, it's a, it's a fair, it's a fair deal. Um, and, and for that, I give it a C plus. Next on the list, we have a beast gaming PC with a GTX 1080 Ti. So this is a Ti for $1,300. This is $300 more than the last PC. And so far, the only difference uh, as far as the, the graphics card goes is, is the Ti versus the non-Ti. I hope, I hope it's got more, uh, more oomph than just that alone, um, especially with the last rig that we just saw. ABS Precision Extreme Liquid Cool. Okay, so it's an ABS pre-built, uh, 8700K. So it's the same CPU and just a slightly faster, I guess a notably faster GPU. 
16 gigs of RAM of RGB DDR4 2666 RAM, uh, 240 gig SSD, one terabyte hard drive. Absolute beast of a machine for gaming, streaming, anything, and will be future proof for years to come. Bought this PC brand new directly from Newegg. I am the only owner. That's good to know. Nothing has been overclocked. That's what they all say. Mm -hmm. GPU has never been used to mine crypto. Mm -hmm. This machine has only been used for gaming and schoolwork. Mm -hmm. No problems at all. We'll completely wipe the computer and is basically like new. Comes with specs above. Oh, he has an extra 16 gigs of RAM of the same manufacturer that I will include with this PC, totaling 32 gigs of RAM. Okay, same manufacturer is good, but that's only one part of the equation. Is it the same capacity, same speed? and same cast latency. I do not know. This GPU and machine overall is a beast. How many times are you gonna say beast in this ad? Is this Mr. Beast's PC? Jeez. So we got the, it's an EVGA SC2, uh, 8700K, EVGA Z374 the win, 16 gigs with an extra 16 gigs, giving us a total of 32 gigs, 240 gig SSD and a one terabyte hard drive. Fairly decent combo. RGB on various components in the case. Tempered glass case with a removable mesh. Easy cleaning. Okie dokie. Let's take a look at this rig. Uh, he didn't mention the case, but we can tell from the picture if this is accurate that this is a fractal design Meshify C. So there's an inside look. We have a 200, what looks to be a 240 millimeter liquid AO from EVGA. This is one of their seals. C coolers, and uh, there's the EVGA graphics card, very nice Z374 the win. Motherboard, RGB RAM, some RGB fans, which I can't tell if they're on or not. I guess they are on, the lighting in the picture is just weird. All right, looks good. No red flags here. Uh, did he say which which power supply this is? Beep, 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 beep. No, 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 it doesn't actually say. All right, so we're gonna have to guess once again on the PSU. Um, there's no branding on the back. So this time we don't have a manufacturer or the wattage of the PSU. We'll have to just make an informed guess. All right, I'm gonna do my thing, chicken wing, BRB. All right, me laddies, I have returned with the pricing. Fractal Design Meshify C, $50 right now on the used market Intel Core i7 8700K, which seems to be the most popular CPU of the day in these, these Craigslist ads. I think this is the third 8700K we've seen. So again, 200 bucks for that. Z374 for the win, three, or no, for, just for the win, 170 bucks. And then for our 32 gig kit of Team T-Force RGB DDR4 memory, we have 150 bucks there. The GTX 1080 Ti SC2, I found a few of those used on eBay, going for roughly 750 bucks on average. A EVGA CLC 240 millimeter AIO, $70. A 240 gig SSD and a one terabyte hard drive, roughly $80 combined. And then the power supply, just wild guess. 70 bucks. I, I could be off 10, $20 here. I, I really have no idea, no way of telling what's in there, but uh, I'm gonna go with 70 bucks. So estimated use price, totaling all that together is $1,500. And forty dollars. That is two hundred and forty bucks more than if you were to just buy this outright from this dude who's selling it for thirteen hundred. That, that saves us fifteen point five percent, roughly, uh, by uh, purchasing it from him directly instead of um, purchasing all the individual components. And yeah, so fifty percent. This is not quite as good of a deal as the last ad that we saw. That rig was what twenty one percent in savings. That was just uh, very, very unexpected, very impressive. Fifty percent though is still good. Fifteen point five percent isn't too bad. It's nothing that you would jump up and down for joy about, but uh, you, you, you'd feel, you feel pretty good. You feel pretty good walking away knowing that you saved uh, a nice chunk of change there. So I'm gonna give this one a B rating. It's a B, you know, just like, a, like an authentic Chinese food restaurant. Gaming PC, $1,000 in Glendale. Okay, we got an 8700K, GTX 1080, 32 gigs of RAM, ready to go. Comes with the parts list, shown below. I just got a Switch and find myself gaming on that much more than the PC. What? He got a Switch and so he's getting rid of his PC? What? Who is this person? Anyway, NZXT H510 case, CPU Intel Core i7-8700K. We have a knock to another NHD15. Asus ROG Strix Z370E Gaming. That's the motherboard. LPX 32 gigs of RAM from Corsair. DDR4-3200, so that's 260. 16 gig modules, uh, another Inland Premium SSD. This one's 256 gigs. That is NVMe M.2. And for our video card, we have a GTX 1080 from Zotac. That is a Zotac amp card. So it does come factory overclocked. I'm not interested in parting it out. Well, okay then, fine. I didn't want to part it out. Jeez. Asking $1,000 local pickup only if interested, uh, ask me any questions. Okie dokie, PC time. time. Let's take a look. GBZ. All right, looks like it's got some healthy airflow. Couple fans at the front, one at the top, one at the rear. Why don't they take the sticker off. Why, why does no one take the, the caution sticker off these NZXT panels? I don't, I don't get it. Uh, okay, so it looks pretty clean. Uh, it is white, so white, you know, you always have to like sort of inspect the white cases that you buy used because they, they can scuff and scratch and show dirt and stuff really easily compared to black. Um, 
but it uh, looks pretty good from the photos, these crappy photos. Uh, we have the Noctua cooler, the NHD 15, and it doesn't even look like there's RAM in this, uh, this motherboard here uh, in that dim slot, but maybe it's just because uh, whatever he was doing at the time, maybe he took him out for the picture, who knows. Uh, and then backside looks pretty normal here, and on the side, okay. Uh, he actually used different colored rubber corners for each of the fans. Uh, those little, like rubber corners that, that come with the, the Noctua's. Um, he used a green one, blue one, it's all mismatched and stuff, but I guess that kind of works with the RGB lighting that he's got going on here. Um, all right, let's take a look at the pricing. I will be right back in a jiffy. Okie dokie, artichokey. I am back with our prices. So for the case, the NZXT H510, that's going for around 60 bucks right now on the Ebays. Core i7-8700K, $200. Asus ROG Strix Z370E Gaming, $250. I would imagine that's probably because this board is no longer in production. It's several generations old now. So typically when you when you have a board like that on the used market, they tend to sell a bit higher than, uh, sometimes even higher than when they originally launched because they're just so much harder to find now. And uh, I couldn't find a, a used one, uh, this model, any cheaper than 250 bucks. So there you go. Corsair Vengeance LPX 32 gigs, two 16 gig sticks at $100. Zotac GTX 1080 amp, $500. And a Noctua NHD 15 at 50, the SSD at 55, and the PSU, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. There's no there's no PSU listed with this ad. I couldn't, I couldn't find it. There's no mention of wattage either. So I had to take a wild guess. There is this picture of the backside of the case. Um, oh, okay, it's EVGA. It's an EVGA unit. Those typically run pretty cheap. They're some of the cheaper PSUs that you can find out there that are still fairly reliable depending on the model that you get. Uh, I would imagine with an RTX or GTX 1080 and 8700K, probably around a 650 or 750 watt unit, if I had to guess. Uh, for an EVGA one, again, they run pretty cheap. I'm gonna say that's roughly $50 if you're buying it used. Giving us a grand total of $1,265. That saves us 21%. 21% savings. This is by far the best offer that we've seen today. And for that, it gets an A. Newly built gaming PC, Core i7-11700K, Asus RTX 3080, ooh, $2,600. This is the highest asking price we've seen yet. So let's take a look at what this build has to offer. Newly custom built gaming PC, Core i7-11700K, F, okay, F, uh, that's uh, eight cores, 16 threads, Noctua NHD 15 Pro Max, thermal, he even listed the thermal compound, fancy. Asus Tough Gaming Z, 590 plus Wi-Fi 6, that's the motherboard. Crucial Ballistics 3600 speed DDR4 RAM, that's 32 gigs, so two 16 gig sticks in black. We have an Inland Platinum one terabyte M.2 NVMe SSD. Our video card is the Asus Tough Gaming NVIDIA RTX 3080 V2 OC edition and uh, Fractal Design Torrent, ooh, it's a nice new case. Uh, EVGA Supernova GT 750 watt power supply and Windows 11 Pro. Okay, so let's take a look at this build. Can we even see what's on the screen? Okay. Okay, the compression on Craigslist is so bad. Uh, but there's the torrent, nice new fancy case, good airflow. There's the inside, okay. Um, cable management, pretty solid actually, pretty solid. Nice blacked out aesthetic. And uh, really, really good call on, on using that Chromax cooler. As a, it just would not have looked the same with the brown. <gasps> Look at this sticker. The stickers are, aren't matching, pissing me off. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but very nice, clean looking system. All it needs is some like custom sleeve cables and this thing is ready to rock. But cable management on the back looks really good as well. This guy knows what he's doing. Everything looks really nice and tidy. Uh, he's using the tie down points properly and Velcro straps where they're needed. And uh, yeah, this is actually very nice and neat. Super impressive. Okay. You know the drill. All right, so for the case in this build, I was unable to find a used Fractal Design Torrent on eBay or I think, where, where else did I look? Uh, I looked on Craigslist as well. Could not find a used Torrent because it's a fairly new case. It's also a really good case, so I'm sure most people who are buying it are pretty happy with it still. Um, so if you were to purchase this case, you'd probably have to purchase it new, or if you did buy it used, you probably wouldn't get a huge deal on it because it is so new. So I'm gonna keep that at $190. For the Core i7 11 700K, eight core, 16 threads. That's going for around $320 on the used market right now. An Asus Tough Gaming Z590 Plus Wi-Fi for about 160 bucks. 32 gigs of Crucial Ballistics DDR4 3600, $130. Asus Tough Gaming RTX 3080 V2 OC, a whopping $1,800 on eBay. That is that is the average. Some of them are going for over $2,000 right now. Uh, and uh, some of them are going for a little bit below that. Noctua NHD 15 Chromax, $50, one terabyte inland 
Highland Platinum NVMe M.2 SSD, 70 bucks, and for the Supernova GT 750, another $70, giving us a grand total of $2,790. That is a fairly modest but appreciated 7% in savings over the asking price of 2,600 bucks, and for that, I give him a C plus. In fact, you know what? I'm actually gonna change this to a B minus a b minus the reason being because this this is a really this is a really well put together system he spent a lot of time building it correctly he built it the proper way cable management is on point uh it, it matches the aesthetic is very nice in my opinion and it's going to make your life a lot easier whoever's buying this thing um, is going to really appreciate uh all of his hard work you know managing the cables properly so that if if you do need to go in there and swap something out something breaks or whatever needs to be replaced it makes your life a whole lot easier so i'm going to bump him up to that b minus he gets a b minus Good job, cable management guy. Moving on, this one's a Radeon RX 6600 XT, 8 gig Intel Core i7, 8 core gaming PC, SSD editing, weird title, $1,350, $1,350. And let's see what we get for it. Core i7, 10700K. All right, we're right off the bat, the CPU is much better. Radeon RX 6600 XT, okay. That's probably, I would imagine, not as fast as an RT or a GTX 1080 or 1080 Ti. So that explains the difference. Um, 6600 XT. Okay, fine. Uh, from XFX, I believe. Yeah, XFX. Uh, 500 gig SSD, which is a SATA Rev3 drive. And then we also have a 500 gig hard drive. So that's a total of one terabyte of storage uh, with half of it being uh, NAND and half the other half being spinning rust. We have 16 gigs of DDR3, or sorry, DDR4 RAM. Uh, it doesn't specify, we'll have to take a look at it later. Power supply is an EVGA 550 watt unit, deep cool 120 millimeter CPU cooler. All right, serious buyers, but about da good for stuff, good for stuff. So this looks to be a pre Built. I'm gonna say this, this looks like a pre-built to me. Very pre-built-y. And that case, that crappy cougar case. God, the airflow looks horrible. It's just getting choked all day. All day, every day. So here we can confirm the EVGA uh, 550 watt power supply right there. That looks good. Well, what was the point? Just like, this is basically the same picture. Off by like five degrees. Anyway, and then this, this one's even worse. What's going on? And what is with this camera quality? Okay, here's somewhat of an inside look. We can see our mechanical hard drive right there. Looks to be a Seagate. If I'm not mistaken. Oh my gosh, these pictures, these pictures help me. All right, cable management looks okay. Looks fairly clean. Doesn't look super dusty, at least from here. Uh, no GPU sag, that's good from what I can tell. Um, fairly cheap motherboard. You can just tell from the IO shield and the limited amount of IO. Uh, did we get a close up look at the board? Oh, oh, it's an ASRock. It's an ASRock board. I think there's only two dim slots on this thing. There's only two dim slots and there's only one stick of RAM. He didn't even say what kind of RAM it was or what the capacity was. Is it eight gigs or 16? Can't imagine it's anything more. God help this build if it's anything less, but all right. <sighs> Man, he's asking for $1,350 for this thing. All right, let's 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 see what the damage is. I, I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be a lot of damage. <laughs> okay, starting with our crappy Cougar case. I put that at $30. I couldn't find this exact case online, but uh, on eBay that is, but um, it's, it's, it's a really lousy case. You can find ones that are pretty much on par with that quality for around 30 bucks, if not cheaper right now. Um, and then we've got the Core i7-10700K, which is is arguably the best, probably most appealing uh, component in this entire system. That's going for around $260, maybe except for the graphics card, depending on who you ask. Crappy pre-built ASRock motherboard, going for around $80. I couldn't find the exact model. I think it's uh, one of those boards that's really just specifically used by OEMs or system integrators, uh, because especially with those like those two dim slots and stuff, I just, I, I couldn't find any online. Uh, one stick of something crappy, probably. I, I don't know what kind of RAM this is. Again, if it's eight gigs, 16 gigs, if it's a well-known brand, some no-name brand. So I just put 45 bucks, 45 bucks. I'm just shooting in the dark on this one. Um, a lot of unknowns here. XFX, AMD Radeon RX 6600 XT, $700. The XTs, uh, the 6600 XTs currently are going for around that price. I think I saw one for 600, but that wasn't a buy it now price. The people were just bidding on it like crazy. So the price was just driving up and stuff. Um, and then I saw some going for like 800 and, and whatnot. So 700 bucks seems to be fair there. A deep cool Gamex GTE V2. I was able to identify that cooler by looking up some stuff and uh, it's about $20 used on eBay at the moment. 500 gig SSD, 500 gig hard drive, 70 bucks. Um, saying, you know, roughly maybe 30 bucks or so or $20 for, for the hard drive, and then $50 for that 500 gig SSD. And then finally, the EVGA power supply at 550 watts, 20 bucks. Add all that up and you get a total of $1,225. That is actually less than the seller's asking price of 1,350. 
meaning that he's selling it for about 9% more than what you would pay for it if you just bought all the parts secondhand yourself. This is the worst offer that we've seen all day, and I'm, I'm offended, I'm triggered, and I'm hurt. I'm in a lot of, a lot of pain and suffering right now. Uh, the only way to curb that suffering is, is to retaliate and give this person an F. F minus, F minus, is there, I don't even know if there is an F, I don't think there are F minuses. There is today. New gaming PC, RTX 3080, 10 gig, 64 gigs of, dang, 64 gigs of RAM, one terabyte NVMe, Core i7, 11th gen, uh, Core, 8 core, 2600, 2600 buckaroos. Another super expansive high asking price here. So what do we get for $2,600? Brand new build using only the premium parts, only the premium parts, perfect for gaming, video editing, other high performance loads. Parts alone will cost you over $3,200. <laughs> New, you can't, you can't, I mean, yes, you can say this, but it doesn't really matter because you're not selling them new, you're selling them used. So this is a stupid comparison. I built it for myself, now moving overseas, so I gotta sell it, shipping it where I am, moving makes no financial sense for me. Core i7 11700K, just a processor, eight cores. Okay, it's a good good processor. Um, Vengeance LPX, 64 gigs. We have two 32 gig sticks in here. DDR4, 3200 speed, okay. That's, that's a lot of RAM. That's that's kind of nice, especially if you're if you're looking to you know do some video editing or some prosumer work, uh, high intensive workloads and stuff that eats up lots of RAM. Uh, again, a couple Chrome tabs would do it. So that's that's something to consider. But you're not going to need 64 gigs of RAM. You're going to be paying all that extra money for for a kit that you're not even going to fully utilize if you're really just using this for gaming or for lighter workloads that don't utilize lots of system memory. Graphics, uh, we have a GTX uh, 3080 Turbo from Gigabyte. That's uh, the blower style fan. Blower style card, I believe. Yeah. Ew. Still a 3080 though. Still slap on an aftermarket cooler or something like that. Uh, Samsung 980 Pro, one terabyte PCIe, NVMe Gen 4, internal gaming SSD, and a Z590 Aorus Pro AX from Gigabyte. That is the motherboard. PSU is an EVGA Supernova, 650 watt, 80 plus gold, fully modular, eco mode, sweet. And an NZXT H510. Excellent cooling and virtually inaudible fans. Software controlled fan speeds and RGB. The man, the man is excited. He, he knows his audience. He knows we all love RGB. Why did he post a manufacturer picture? Okay, that's, that's better. Um, okay, so let's see here. Is that is that it? Oh, there's no side panel off picture. Boo. Okay, well, this actually looks pretty clean. I must say, from what I can tell, cable management looks pretty good. Uh, the Noctua fans don't look that bad, actually. The brown fans don't look terrible because the, the tempered glass side panel is tinted. That helps a lot, helps mask the atrocity of that nasty brown color, and everything else looks fairly blacked out. Not the greatest airflow in this case, the H510 Elite. It's pulling in air from the sides, I guess, but those fans are still kinda choked off. Uh, it's only from the right side, really. The right side is, is really where it's getting most of its intake from. And yeah, I'm not surprised he didn't show any screenshots of temperatures and stuff. So why don't we go ahead and see what this all adds up to on the secondhand market and figure out if the last deal of the day is poppin' or floppin'. All right, here we go. Starting with the case, NZXT H510 Elite, $70. Core i7, why is this big? <laughs> Uh, Core i7 11700K, eight cores, 16 threads, $320. A Gigabyte Z590 Aorus Pro AX is going for around 120 bucks used right now. A two by 32 gig, 64 gig kit of Corsair Vengeance LPX is currently going for $350. That is the used pricing that I was able to find on eBay. Could not find it for anything cheaper than that. This is really only gonna be worth it if you need 64 gigs of RAM. And even then you could probably find uh, a two by 32 gig kit for cheaper than 300 50 bucks. I think it's probably because the Vengeance LPX are in high demand, probably because of the small form factor crowd. I, I would imagine that market is driving the price of these sticks up because they are very popular amongst the uh, SFF enthusiasts because they are so low profile. They're very reliable. That's just a total shot in the dark that I'm, I'm taking, but uh, that's, that seems to make sense to me. Uh, Gigabyte RTX 3080 Turbo. The average price on eBay right now is $1,500. $1,500 for that. Uh, Noctua NHD 15 once again, 50 bucks. One terabyte Samsung 980 Pro Gen 4 and VME, $150, and finally, a Supernova 650 is going for roughly $70 used, giving us a grand total of $2,630. That is $30 more than seller's asking price. If you buy it for $2,600, saving about 1%. More or less breaking even. Once again, we have something that's not a good deal or a bad deal, it's just a deal. It's a fair deal. I wouldn't reward you or shake your hand if you, if you made this deal, but I wouldn't slap you across the face either. So it's kind of middle of the road, and for that, it gets a C.
So out of those offers that we just took a look at, the best offer that we found today was the gaming PC for $1,000 in Glendale. This guy right here with an 8700K and a GTX 1080 amp from Zotac. This was the best deal and it uh, you'd be saving around 21% uh, if you were to purchase it for this price. So I'm gonna reach out to this guy or girl, who knows, uh, and see if they're willing to sell it to me, if they even still have it available. It was posted eight days ago, so there's a chance that it is not available anymore, especially because it's a good price. But if it's not available, then I'll go to the next one, the next best offer. This guy right here, um, best gaming PC, beast gaming, the beast, the beast, uh, the GTX 1080 Ti. GTX 10 Ti and a 8700K. Once again, very similarly spec'd to the, to the last rig, but obviously not quite as good of a deal because it is a bit more expansive, even though it's got a slightly faster GPU. So I'll, I'll do what I can. I'll see what I can do. If I can't find either of these PCs though, I think I'm still gonna try to do a PC flipping video because I think that'd be a lot of fun. I've never done that before. Also, if you guys have any ideas around that, what you'd like to see in that video, certain things you'd like me to try, little experiments, whether it's like social experiments with uh, the Craigslist seller or, or buyer or seller or buyer really, um, or any other creative ideas that you have for me, feel free to share them down below and I'll be sure to read all your comments after this video posts. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching this one. Toss a like on it if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, uh, then then you can dislike it. I'll, I'll, I still see those even though you guys don't. Um, and get subscribed for more tech content on the way. I will see you guys very shortly in the next video. Peace.